Thanksgiving today. Is it 80s or is it 90s child? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Benita. Here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Again, if you are new, welcome. Now listen, we usually do two videos a week usually on wednesday we have a luxury upload and then on friday we do lifestyle videos we vlog last week we only had our one video which was our luxury video now again the goal is to do two videos a week but if you don't see if you see that i only do one video either on wednesday or friday of that week don't be alarmed i am in school i do have some other pressing things that i am taking care of so sometimes youtube does get pushed to the side but I went back and counted and that's usually I should have eight videos up for the month this um, last month in January I had seven so we're off to a good start we're trying to stick to that but don't let that hinder you we are consistent over here as consistent as we can be please go ahead and subscribe before you leave we do have playlists listed down below all the things so today we have an slg collection video i hopped on the bandwagon um i saw that ashley did the video i just watched hers i want to say last week and ashley said that she was inspired because delana brown girl lux inspired her i'm inspired because both of them did it and it's not that I have a whole whole lot I was about to change my purse for the week and maybe go it back into one of my wallets and I was looking through my little stash of SLGs and I said yeah let's just kind of share and see what we have going on so without further ado we're gonna get started now because I don't have a plethora like our face we're just gonna go in like random order I'm gonna go this is the bag that I'm using for the week my Louis Vuitton terrain I believe this is the the pm size i'm going to just pull out of here what i have and we'll talk about my slgs um, at that time peek inside here hopefully my lighting is good okay so the first one is my chanel okay love this i got this pre-loved i did a few videos on this one what fits inside my comparisons all of that i will have them linked here or either down below but love my chanel okay i think it's called like a chanel changes the names on things but i call it an okay um because i know it was once called an okay i have some kind of white something here it's probably hand sanitized so i need to clean it but i use this baby a lot this right now has a lot of my extra cards in here i use it pretty much in every purse if it can fit this goes in here so this year i am going to get another one um i would like a bright color um maybe a metallic one i would like to have at least two more of these this perfect size it fits in all of my handbags it even fits inside my chanel walk it fits inside of my lv felicity pochette and those are my smaller bags sometimes i have just taken this key fob in here taking it off the the key ring my fob in here my driver's license it already has my cards and just go so i definitely want this i i really believe that this is worth it I excuse my nails but the chanel okay situation definitely love 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 and we have the louis vuitton mini pochette i believe it's called i believe this is discontinued now they have a newer version i bought mine from one of our lovely babes here lana um i don't think lana is on instagram like that anymore but she has like a beautiful collection she brought this brand new she's out in california she brought she bought this brand new from the boutique and i guess she just decided that she didn't use it or like it and i grabbed it up i snatched it up i can't remember how much i paid but i believe i paid close to retail but at that time retail was probably like 250 300 something like that it wasn't anything outrageous i use this pretty often it's it's beat up it it is i think i was looking at the new denim version well the new well the old new denim version of this I would like to have one in that denim and the blue denim i think that would be a good a good thing to have and here i just have junk um patrick ta lip gloss 
my Chanel mirror. So I always have this close by. I always have this in use. If it's not in my current bag, I always just have it close by. Speaking of keys, you've got to have your key pouch. This is the six ring key holder. I do have another one, so it'll come up. My newest one, and I have a little bit of wear on the button, just a little bit, because I use this every single, every, I use this every day. Every single day. Um, this is another thing that I take if I just want to run out. I will put cash, a card, my license back here and just go. When I go walking in the morning, I usually have this. When I go to the park, I usually just take this. Um, when I go to spin class, I usually just have this because this is this is all you need. I have to be honest, I purchased this not for the function of it, just because I wanted it. Everybody was saying, you know, I fell victim to, you know, the internet, what you need, what people are saying you got to have when you, you know, you can't have your, you can't start your collection without one of these or what have you. So I fell victim to it just for that reason, but it is functional. It is functional. It doesn't have to be Louis Vuitton. Um, it could be any brand that you want. It is good no matter what the price point of your handbag to have your keys in some kind of encasing. So it's just not jingling around inside of your bag. My YSL card holder in the Chevron and Silver Hardware. This is one of my favorite card holders. I've been using this card holder probably about a year. I this is a reason for this video because I said I probably need to give her a rest and go back to either my wallet, one of my larger wallets, or another card holder. But this one, I just love. I love the silver hardware. It's in this like taupey mocha type color. You know, you fit all the things in here. I have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have about six cards in here. And I have, before I got my Chanel, I pressed this one to the max and stuffed all of my cards in here. I would love to have another one of these in a bright color. I prefer the YSL card holder in the smooth um, metal assay leather instead of the pebble leather. I think the pebble leather one is really, really stiff. This one does kind of loosen up quickly, but it still holds its shape. It doesn't get too loose because I have some card holders that are too flimsy. But this one still holds its shape, but it's not as like hard to get into. But I would love to have this in a bright, beautiful color as well. Okay, so that's all I have in my purse. Now I'm going to pull from my stash. It's in my Chanel beauty pouch is where I have the rest of my SLGs. So we'll just go from there. Two other key pouches like I was telling you about here. So the red one is from uh, Longchamp and this one of course is the Louis Vuitton multicolor one. This one is a four ring. This one is a, I wanna say six ring. All leather red one is a, is a six ring and of course this one is a six ring as well. Out of all of these, this one is my favorite. This one I wanted to try because it's all leather, but this is so flimsy. I hardly ever use it. I think if it had like another stable backing here, it wouldn't be so flimsy, but it has a pocket in here that you can put cards in, another pocket here. It has silver hardware. Um, I'm thinking about selling it. It's just too flimsy. Leather is really nice. It's good in theory, but for me, I do need a little bit more sturdiness. This one, of course, is a vintage piece. Love, love, love it. It's a four ring key holder. I haven't taken it in probably about two years. I need to clean it. No peeling, no cracking. Just the um, LVs are fading because it has been in a high, high rotation. Would never get rid of it. So that's that. The next one is my Burberry um, card case. It's canvas and leather. This is one of my newer ones. This has Burberry stamped, hot stamp right there. It holds the same amount. It's canvas on the bottom to make it a little sturdier. And then the leather on top, the cowhide shiny leather on top and leather inside. And again, and it's hot stamped inside to say Burberry as well. I like it, I've forgotten about it. Um, I bought this one because it's a different color to add a little bit of a pop of color so that 
you know, when I put all of these in my purse, I can it can stand out and I can see it. The next one is my Louis Vuitton Reverse Monogram Car Holder. A lot of the ladies, a lot of you guys have this. This one is, is my favorite as well. This one is a fave as well. Um, I love the reverse monogram. I bought this one because I wasn't sure if I would like the reverse monogram. So I want, I have nothing in reverse monogram. So I decided to, you know, get something small in reverse. And I will say that it's, it, it would seem that reverse monogram is thicker. Whatever they do to make the reverse colors or what have you, it seems like the canvas is thicker. Love, love, love. And then of course, the Louis Vuitton Key Clay. Again, some of these you've seen a billion times because we all have these. And then I have, I keep my lock keys on this in here. This one has seen better days. I haven't used this in a great while, but it is chipping. She has seen better days. Next, I guess we will move on to pouches. I have the Louis Vuitton Cosmetic Pouch. But these are not even leather, so I wonder why we call them small leather goods. Maybe because it has like a little bit of leather, a leather of the leather here, a leather here, and maybe the leather inside. This one, I believe I did buy this one pre-loved. I do have a lot of corner wear here. I would love to have the trifecta all three sizes of the cosmetic pouch. That's on my forever wish list, but if I ever focus and really look at the things that I want from Louis Vuitton, like in one year, just dedicate, okay, I'm gonna just try to get everything that I want or need from Louis Vuitton in a year, this would be high up on it. I would get all three sizes before they totally discontinue them. Wallets, so we consider wallets small leather goods, I guess, but this is from MCM. This is the, I can't remember the name. I'll try to find the name and pop it on the screen, but this wallet has been discontinued. They do make one that's very, very similar. If you like wallets, this is one of the best wallets. And I love this wallet because I take it as a clutch. I put one of my Louis Vuitton chains through it and I can put it as like a crossbody bag. I do have some wear here on the inside from the canvas color transfer, but it's leather on the top, canvas throughout, leather in the inside, and the traditional MCM colors, a little bit of tarnishing on the MCM on front, but the glazing is impeccable. I believe I did a review on this like when I was in the car or something. I think it's in a vlog. I believe I did a review on this years ago. But I try to take this wallet at least once a year because it really is a good wallet. It can double as a clutch because of the rectangle shape of it. It fits nicely. It fits in your hand. It definitely can double as a clutch. Next we have my long shop Le Pliage little pouch. Um, I guess it would be considered a small leather good because it has leather here on the handle. I have, oh, and leather here on the logo. Get this out. I ran this in the ground. I definitely ran this in the ground. This is, I think it's probably dirty in there. This is one, this is the first Longchamp item that I purchased. Really, really good. I need to wash it, it's dirty. The hardware is not tarnishing at all. Really good zipper. It has like a wipeable, water resistant in the inside. It's it's a really good pouch. This is like a little coach crossbody. I think I got it maybe oh, two years ago. I got it because I really want the Fendi Micro Mini little crossbody that you can use as a back charge, but then it comes with a long strap. So I got it to see if I would carry the Fendi one. And I hardly ever carry this, maybe because it's packed away and I don't see it but I hardly ever carry it, but it can carry a lot of stuff. I wish I could say I wear it a lot in the spring and summer, so I definitely need to pull it out, but it's a little coach, mini, mini micro. The thing that I don't have right now that I left in my closet is my Prada pouch. I'll pop a picture on there. I don't know if it's really considered an SLG. Also, I have a vintage Louis Vuitton travel item. I have the Truce, I think it's the 28. I have the Truce 28, the vintage Louis Vuitton travel case. And I guess that is it. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. These are my SLGs that I have in my collection. SLGs can be very 
addictive. I wonder why. Comment down below what are some of your SLGs, your faves that you love. If you haven't done this video and you do content, please do it. I would love to see your SLG collection. Mine is not extensive by any means, but these are my babies. These are the things that I have. I hope that you're having an amazing week and God willing, I will see you here on Friday.